Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how you can diagnose and fix a car that's overheating. Customer just bought this Acura, knows no history of it, got it real cheap. He drives it just a few minutes, it starts overheating. So I start with basics. Check the coolant. Well, in this case, it's full of coolant, so we know it's probably not a coolant leak. If those cooling fans don't work, you got a problem. So first, we're going to check the cooling fans. And on this model, when you turn the AC on, both fans are supposed to come on. So we'll start the car and turn on the AC. <laughs> Now, as we can see, this fan isn't working at all. This fan's working, but it's pretty slow. So let's check them out. Now, the fan on this side is a condenser fan for the AC. And when I turn it, it's stuck. It turns, but it's really rough. Normally, you spin them, they'll spin freely. So this fan's burned out. I can tell by the resistance it should have none. And we go to the other side, the main cooling fan. It was spinning when it was running, but look. The thing is just broken off inside and it was only spinning because the motor inside was spinning and the drag got this broken fan and spun it a little. So basically it needs both fan motors. Now of course, there could be tons of other problems. The guy just bought this thing used. But always start with the simple, basic thing. When you see the cooling fans don't work when the AC's on, fix them. The AC condenser fan's completely broken. And the regular fan, even though it was spinning, you see the blades wobbling around. It's not supposed to move at all. The whole thing's broken, so we're going to replace both assemblies. There are aftermarket stuff available, so you don't have to spend a fortune on them. Now the excess is you take this plastic crap off. You just turn the little plastic containers that hold it in place, and the whole thing just comes right off. Now that's out of the way. Now first we'll get the hose out of the way. You can use pliers, but I love these. You can get them for as little as 15 bucks. They squeeze the clamp and hold it in place so it's easy to get off and you don't pinch yourself with pliers. The business end just fits right over the clamp and as you squeeze it, it tightens it and locks it in place. So you can then just pull the hose right off and move it to the side. Then you just disconnect the electrical connector. You squeeze one end and it unplugs. And then the fan itself just has bolts that hold it in place. You just take them off, twirl it faster with your hand, it's not all that tight. And after you take the three bolts off, there's one way down in the bottom that's hard to get to, so work on a cold engine, and the whole thing just comes up. And as you can see, instead of spinning freely, it's stuck. It's just burnt out, so we're going to replace this and the other side. You unfasten the other side and slide it out the same way. It's hard to unplug this one, so you got to pick it up a little to get to the plug. And you can reach in there. Ugh. Unplug it and get it out. And now you can see how broken this fan is. Wobbling all over the place. <laughs> We're going to replace both these units with an aftermarket one. And now I got a pair of brand new fans. As you can see, they spin like they're supposed to, but they don't wobble at all. <laughs> then you slide the driver's side fan in first and bolt it up. And don't forget to snap the connector on so that it works. And make sure you bolt it on nice and tight. Then put the radiator hose back on and squeeze the tool. It's got a release pin. Uh, now it's nice and tight. Then slide the other fan in. Then put all the bolts on nice and tight. First your finger tight them. Then use a little wrench. And don't forget to do the bottom one. That's way deep down here. Uh, got that on tight too. And get the electrical connectors. Plug them in. And remember to top it up with coolant because a little bit came out when we took the hose off. Then we climb in and start her up. And we'll turn the air conditioner on full blast. AC. Let's get the fans going as fast as they can go. Here they come. And lo and behold, what do we have? This fan's blowing good. And so is the AC fan. Now we just have to road test it. And put the stupid beauty cover back on. And as you can see, no more overheating. Now actually, this car's running a little bit too cool. It probably needs a new thermostat. So now you know how to fix an overheating car that's got bad fans. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.